Welcome back to the School of Magic. I'm your teacher, Daniel Lesk, and today we're going to be doing some magic with a water bottle? At least it'll be refreshing. <laughs> Well, I finished my water, but hey, let's give someone a souvenir, something to remember our magic by. Whoa, check it out. And it's not coming out. Now, let's learn the secret. For this magic trick, you're just going to need a water bottle and an extra cap. Now you've got to set this up beforehand. Most water bottles have a smaller, thinner cap. You're able to actually take that cap and squeeze it a little bit and push it inside the water bottle, like so. Now the cap is going to be misshapen a little bit. So you can take that, move it up, and just kind of reshape it inside the bottle. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. That will get it to go back to its normal shape. You're then going to take that cap and hide it behind the label and place it down on a table. Then take your extra cap and loosely place it there. This can be laying around like it's a piece of trash. Then you can take the cap off. Now you're going to do a magic move called a false transfer here. We're going to act like we're tossing it over to this hand so that this hand is free and can pick up the bottle. So when we do the toss, I have the cap up here in my fingers, where if I curl my fingers, I'm going to be holding onto the cap like so. So when I transfer it, I act like I'm throwing it. I keep this hand open. I make the move to toss it. As I do, I'm starting to close this hand, but then I'm also closing it around the cap, like so. It's really still in this hand. I look at this hand like that's really where I threw it, because why would you look at something if it's not there? Let's try this again. Again, I take the cap. I have it loosely on there. Undo it. Do the false transfer, so I go to toss it, but really I keep it in this hand. Then I pick up the bottle. When I pick the bottle up, I need to go straight up with it. That way the cap doesn't fall out from behind the label. Then I pretend like I still have it in my hand over here, the cap. I hit the back side, and when I do, I knock that cap back into the bottom of the bottle, like so. It looks like the cap goes through the bottle. Remember, you still have the extra cap hidden in your hand but you're holding the bottle, so it makes sense that your hand is still closed. You can show it, shake it. You can practice holding the bottle in different ways with that cap still in your hand. You can even show that it doesn't come out. You can hand it out as a gift. Again, I still have that cap in my hand, but they're going to reach out and take the bottle. As they're looking at it, you can then just casually put your hands in your pocket and get rid of the extra cap. Now that's something they can keep and they'll forever remember how you did magic with something as simple as a water bottle. And here's a bonus trick you can do for your friends using your phone or for social media. Take a cap. Here's the secret to the bonus trick. The secret to this trick is a special bottle that you make. 
Now, I like to do this just for social media or for video because no one can really be around you or too close or they're going to see the secret. The secret is there is really a hole in the back of the bottle. Now from this side and on video especially, it doesn't look like it's anything but a normal bottle. But you're able to take the cap off and then focus and with a little practice, throw it right into the bottle and it looks like it penetrates in. You can even shake it around. It looks like a normal bottle. So how do you make this? Well, you're going to take some scissors and you need to be careful with these scissors because you are going to be cutting the bottle. So you might need an adult to help you out. On the label, you're going to find the spot where it's not glued and then pull that down a little bit. It's easier to do this with the cap off. That way you can bend the bottle a bit. You'll take some scissors and you'll make a cut to get started. Then you'll cut a little below the label, a little less than halfway around. You'll then take that part of the bottle and push it in, like so. You do this because it keeps the strength of the bottle to where you can loosely put the cap back on and take it off and the thing doesn't bend around. Then, with a little bit of practice and some aim, and you want to make it look like you're really concentrating, take the cap and put it right into the bottle. And that's how you do the bonus cap trick.